Hello, Saints. This is Sister Loria. I'm coming to you from Kingdom Come Ministries, the Daughters of Zion, and I'm going to make a short video today because I um, just came across some information on a one of the ox video, uh, he, one of the prophets videos that he was pulling out a lot of different books that um, we have access to. Uh, some are reference books, some are non-canonical books, um, which are books that are referenced in the Bible. Um, and I just wanted to read this for you according to wi Wikipedia. Um, the non-canonical books referenced in the Bible include the Pseudepigrapha, writings from Hellenistic, Hellenistic and other non-biblical cultures, and lost works of known or unknown status. By the biblical is meant those books recognized by are, are recognized by most Christians and Jews, being a part of the Old Testament or the Tanakh, as well as those rec recognized by Christians alone as being a part of the Biblical Apocrypha or the Deuter Canon. And so um, I just wanted to briefly talk about, you know, I know that society is so diverse in their ideas and, um, you know, with what they believe, their belief systems, what they understand as according to their what they call religion um, which we Hebrew Israelites uh, do not um, substantiate our claims to be Jews by saying that we have a Jew religion it is an ethnicity um, Jew is a root word from Judah which um, means that you are from the tribe of Judah Israelites that's as a nation of people which a nation can be one person also, but the entire nation of Israel in, that, you know, occupied Jerusalem, the 12 tribes of Israel, um, you know, we do call ourselves Israel, Israelites, Jews if we're Judah, you know, Benjamites, Levites if you're priest. I mean, it just depends. But getting back to my whole point is that um, the, fi the following are mentioned in the Hebrew Bible. Now, <clears throat> Excuse me, the Tanakh, as I mentioned, is also the Old Testament or the um, books of Moses, uh, if you will. But the book of Jasher is the first one I'm just going to mention. That book is mentioned in Joshua, uh, the 10th chapter, 13th verse, and 2 Samuel, the 1st chapter, and the 18th verse. Also referenced in 2 Timothy, the 3rd chapter, and the 8th verse. And um, from the context in the book of Samuel, it is implied that it was a collection of poetry, but several books have claimed to be, you know, uh, claim this to be lost text and some which are discounted as, um, you know, pseudepigrapha, uh, certain numbers of the, uh, you know, of, of, of the Latter-day Saints, they secured the copyright to particular English, uh, the English translation of one of these and uh, republished it in 1887 in Salt Lake City. Now, see, and there's also the book of the Wars of the Lord, you know, or the War of the Sons of Light against the Sons of Darkness. There's the Chronicle of the Kings of Israel, the Chronicles of the Kings of Judah, the book of, and that's in the book of Kings. That's 1 Kings 14th chapter, 19th verse through the 29th, and the 29th verse. Um, you know, there's so much. The book of Shemaiah, um, Shema, Shemaiah and, and the story of the prophet Edo, um, these are referenced in the second book of Chronicles. So I guess what I'm getting at is that, you know, there were kingdoms back in antiquity and there were prophets, um, which back then, I think before they had um you know prophets they were called seers and these were people that had great insight and deep knowledge that was given to them from the most high from the beginning or the origins of of the universe so they were predestined to have this um deep awesome knowledge that was given to them from the most high so these these prophets what I'll, which I'll call them for the sake of today's um, you know, edifying the saints are the prophets that wrote 
all of this information. And, you know, in when people try to refute, excuse me, uh, so like it, <laughs> you know, that these, the books that are extracted from the King James Bible, um, which the Apocry Apocrypha is still in the King James Bible, but those that try to refute it, I can't say that word, um, they're probably not doing their research in the right areas or, you know, because a lot of times, see, we come from the Christian church background. We're used to being just read this verse, read that verse. We're being force fed from our, you know, preacher's perspective, not to sound condescending to those that just, you know, preachers that just don't know and pastors that are just ignorant of the fact that, you know, the, the Bible is written um, for the for Israel by Israel and this is uh, you know we salvation um, is for the Jews first and um, you know I don't know why they're not teaching certain things and taking their um, uh, you know parishioners or or even their community um, leaders that are in their churches into the truth so that they could be speaking this knowledge to Israel to wake everyone up because look at the madness that the world is in we need everybody's help that the Lord you know endowed or indoctrinated this knowledge too now mind you I would encourage you to pray in the Holy Spirit and the mother Holy Spirit that you're given wisdom and knowledge if you're not um, into this truth already but if you're trying to get that knowledge and wisdom just read the Bible from a Hebraic um, perspective um, because it is um, written, you know, like I said, by Hebrews for Hebrews with in the New Testament being, I guess I could say a messianic message, but it is still for, you know, the Hebrew Israelites to bring the word forth to all the nations. So I was just going to uh, make this short video to kind of bring forth to you this um, information that I really came across on one of the Ox videos and also he, he uploaded um, a lot of reference books that I particularly just absolutely love. If you go to my, um, if you go to my website, uh, which is listed below, you can click on the link below and it'll, it'll take you right to Kingdom Come, the Daughters of Ministry website. Um, on the resource page or reference page, you will find, I'm going to, you know, it's downloaded um, on a link where you can just click on it and you can download this Word doc um, and see all of the reference books that I did provide for you there because I, I thought that it would be very helpful to, you know, people coming into the truth. There's a lot of knowledge out there. I try to keep it related, excuse me, to um, you learning um, or, or get, getting on the right path in the truth. So, you know, the word says study and show thyself approved. And that is what we, excuse me, Salakia, that is what we do here. So, so I hope that this video has been edifying to you. Please forgive me. I got the hiccups. And uh, I pray that the Lord give you knowledge and wisdom. And so with that said, I give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai for his knowledge and wisdom that he's given me. And I'm not even there yet, I'm telling you, but I do my studying, I do my research, I try to really make sure that my spirit is in line with what the Most High wants me to understand on my level, you know, because there are different levels. And I'm telling you, the more you research, the more you read, you are going to find things that you might not think you're ready for. I mean, in the origins of the world, the Nag Hammadi, those two alone are about the deepest um, that I have read so far. The Gnostic text, I mean, the Gospel of the Essene, and it just goes on and on, saints. But, um, but thank you for listening to this video. Please go to the website, click the link below to get the reference books list that I've provided for you. And um, I hope that you all are well and blessed. Until the next Sabbath, I, I bid you all farewell. Shalom.